Küçük Güzeldir programında bu hafta Karpaz'ı keşfetmeye devam ediyoruz. Bu kez farklı turizm konseptiyle dikkatleri üzerine çeken çok farklı bir mekanda Karpaz Gate Marina'dayız. First of all, uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, it's a pleasure. My name is Lisa Singer. I am originally from Israel. I arrived here with uh, David Lewis, who is the investor who invested in Carpus Gate Marina, back in 2004. Uh, from 2006, we started the development here. And I, uh, in 2011, we lost Mr. Lewis. Mm -hmm. He passed away. And since then, I'm taking care of this investment, hopefully developing it for the benefit of the country. And by, by profession, I'm a lawyer, an accountant. I have an MBA in finance. I dealt with private equity and venture capital. And when I met uh, Mr. Lewis, I started a new type of journey. And when Mr. Lewis passed away, this journey became even more challenging Uh, and the result is seen here. Uh, do you like tourism? Yeah, that's a good question. Tourism is a very challenging uh, profession mm -hmm. and sector. You are 24-7 serving people and it's not necessarily you who do it it's your team and your uh, staff and um, so you are not totally in control of every small detail and yet you are 24 7 being tested and today with the social media and so on you know you are constantly being ranked on the other hand so that's the challenge yes and on the other hand i must say that when you are sitting At the end of the day, and seeing people arriving to the place that you developed and that you work so hard to create, and you see that they are enjoying themselves. And actually they planned for a long time to come on this vacation, and you are the one who can actually provide it. Then there are moments there that, uh, yes, I like it. talk about the Karpaz Gate Marina. Uh, when was it established and uh, what is your goal? Karpaz Gate Marina now becomes, uh, there's already a history book that can be written about it. Uh, as, as I said, in 2006 we, actually we, 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 when we came and, and saw the land, it already had a license for a marina. And that was the most important element because Uh, Mr. Lewis wanted to have a marina around which he will develop his new tourism destination. It wasn't just about an hotel. It was about yachting tourism, it was about mm -hmm. marina. So we were fortunate enough to find an area which had a license for a marina. A license for a marina is something that is difficult to achieve, authorities, approvers and so on. So <clears throat> we were fortunate enough to find such a land. And then in 2006 we started building it. It took us until 2011, with many obstacles on the way, with 
you know, the type of construction that is taking place and so on. But we managed in 2011 to complete it, including receiving from the authorities a port of entry approval, which is important for Maria, so you can be a place where boats arrive for the first time, like an airport. Uh, and uh, Mr. Lewis passed away, but we started operation. It was a very big challenge at the beginning, marketing-wise, because the TRNC is not known yes. to be a yachting destination. And yeah, it was army controlled. All the shores were army controlled, and therefore you could not just take a boat and sail. So that was a big challenge, marketing and putting it on the map, basically. Uh, allowing the yachting community to understand, hey, we are here, it's the TRNC, you are allowed to come in, uh, you are welcome, and come and see these facilities. That was a big challenge, I would say, it took us a good couple of years until I can say that we are, today we can definitely say that we are on the map. The yachting, the Eastern Mediterranean community, yachting community knows that we are here. They know about the TRNC. And in 2012, we also uh, developed our beach club, which is a very important asset here in Tarpus Gate Marina because it's a very beautiful beach club and it draws clients also from the land side, not just from the marina side. So it became a day trip destination also for people just traveling in Cyprus. Um, and as time went by, we felt that we are ready to develop uh, the next phase, which will be an hotel. Yes. Uh, so if I focus on the marina side for a second mm -hmm. before we go into the hotel, our marina, first of all, is an acclaimed marina, meaning we got various prizes from the fact that we are a five golden anchor marina, which is one of the highest levels of marina one can achieve, uh, given by the UK authorities, the Yacht Harbor Association. Um, we are ranked, according to our clients, at a very high rank, and we're getting very nice grades. We are a 300 berth marina. We have, at the moment, we have around 110 boats. And we have more as um, annual contracts and monthly contracts and daily contracts. Um, we have a very active technical center, which means that we are doing work on boats. Boats are lifted up in a very big travel, with a very big travel lift of up to 300 tons. We can service very big yachts, similar to the yachts, the big yachts that can be serviced in Turkey. And we are creating a more and more professional technical side as well. Uh, if I may be modest, I would say that uh, we really brought the yachting tourism to the TRNC. Uh, being an international standard marina, this is not a commercial port with some places for yachts. This mm -hmm. is a yacht marina only for yachts and only for yachts. To service them, you have showers and toilets, you have laundry, you have concierge services that takes all the care of all their uh, needs from rental car to anything else that they need. Uh, we have a chandlery, uh, and we have a very active technical center uh, that assists to give them all the services. We also have a yacht club. Uh, so on, on just the free time, they can go into the yacht club, they have their lounge, they have their library, they have a screening room, um, and uh, all of this created an atmosphere that slowly but surely people were willing to take this extra mile, mm -hmm. literally extra mile, uh, in order to arrive here and enjoy the facilities. And some of them actually became residents even. Mm -hmm. Some of them even settled down, came here and bought a house. And there are residents now in Northern Cyprus. So Very nice. Yeah. And uh, visitors can find whatever they need here, I think. Yes, everything, li like an hotel. Yes. Where you will have a concierge service or a reception desk that gives you an answer for any questions. Similarly, here, they would go to the reception or the call or the WhatsApp. And any question regarding from restaurants to immigration process to rental car, to taxi drivers, to whatever they need, yes. they will get an answer. And uh, here is, I think, the uh, international standards, isn't it? Yes, we, we, we build this according to the highest level uh, of, uh, let's say, the best practices of 
operating a marina. Yes. Also the way it's designed, physically, mm -hmm. the technical aspect of it, and the way we manage it. And uh, we are happy to say that even uh, the Yacht Harbor Association, which is a UK establishment, uh, actually appreciated that, and we are receive, we are at the moment even at the process of accreditation to the highest level of marina, and we have already five golden anchor, um, and we are very proud of it. It's hard work, but we are proud of it. Do you have special reason to choose Karpaz region? I think that in northern Cyprus, mm -hmm. once one arrives to northern Cyprus, I think the Karpaz region is the most beautiful area. I, everybody will agree. Yes. Um, and if you want to create your own atmosphere, if you want to have something which is yours, unique, not bothered by the surrounding, this is the place to do it. Uh, for us, it was very important to present something which is another type of tourism to North Cyprus. Not the same type of tourism that exists, mm -hmm. but create another sector, just like there is a golf course, which is another type of tourism. Yachting is another type of tourism. Um, so it was important to be located in a designated place, which is also connected to nature, connected to the environment, more green. Um, and in that environment, to create our own little world, which will be about, a bit like abroad, but also with very strong ties to the community and to the geography and to the place. I think you worked very hard, but uh, you didn't uh, complete your projects. You have got uh, many projects. And short time ago, uh, you completed one of them and uh, opened the hotel, Car Carpas Gate Marina Hotel and Spa. Right. Can we talk about also about the hotel and your spa? With pleasure. First of all, it was something that was long time planned. Mm -hmm. We wanted to find the right combination with the, with the current uh, operation and uh, I was happy that we managed to consider a, uh, this boutique hotel of 52 rooms mm -hmm. which is located physically within the marina so one does not have to walk a too long of a distance from one side but on the other hand he is walking within the resort so there is a place to go, there is interest, there is life uh, so we created 52 room boutique hotel it's in a, in a nautical theme, so to combine it with where you are. Uh, you, from one side you can see the masts and the, and the sea, from the other side you're in a very luscious garden. Um, and uh, the whole theme is like you are in a big sailing boat. Uh, our rooms are named cabins. Yes. And there are visuals of sailing yachts. And uh, I think we managed to create, I mean, I'm hearing from, from clients that we managed to create a very nice atmosphere. Uh, the breakfast is served at our restaurant, mm -hmm. the Hemingway's restaurant on the promenade. And next to the, and in front of our restaurants, you have also our hammam and spa. It's again a boutique hammam and spa. There is a very nice hammam, saunas, couple of treatment rooms. We have perfect uh, therapists that were trained in Turkey and brought here and they love Northern Cyprus, by the way, from Nepal and, uh, and Bali. And uh, that complements also our beach club. And we are now also in the process, hopefully until the autumn, we will finalize the last phase of this part of our creation, which will be the indoor pool, jacuzzi, mm -hmm. two meeting rooms, and a new gym facing our promenade and our main piazza. And then the gym that we have today will be a yoga and Pilates studio. And by that we will be able to really give a comprehensive vacation 
for all tastes, that, that relate to us. Uh, I can say what we do not have, which is important <laughs> also. We don't have water sports with engines. We have, because we want to keep the, the water as clean as possible, yes. as less oily as possible, and less noise, less disturbance of noise. So we, we use SAP, we use pedalboard, we use kayaks, but no engines. And yeah, so I think, I think it's a, our type of uh, development is indeed a new type. I, let's say it, it caters a diff, another type of tourism in the TRNC. Um, there is a place for everyone, and there's no, there's no reason why not to introduce another, another offering, and that's what we do. We appreciate the challenge. And uh, if we will talk next year, I will tell you if we were successful. Because this is our first uh, season of operation. At the moment, we are working hard, but we see that we are, we are getting good grades. People like us. We are also learning from mistakes and from comments. And as everything else that we do, we will improve. We strive to improve and we will improve. about you have got a very special restaurant and bar here and it's Hemingway restaurant and uh, it takes its name from the famous English writer yes. uh, Ernest Hemingway uh, why did you choose uh, this name do you have special reason <laughs> that's a good question uh, well there was a discussion between me and Mr. Lewis uh, I don't know if you have in your mind or if if, if the people that, that listen to us have in their mind the visual of how Hemingway look with the beard, uh, with, we remember him already with the white hair. And for me, uh, Mr. Lewis was very resembled Hemingway. He was an adventurer, mm -hmm. uh, somebody who took a boat and just went single-handed, traveling all over, uh, a visionary. And uh, I saw similarities in the two. I also personally love what Hemingway wrote and. Uh, I'm a big fan of his writings, and therefore I uh, suggested to Mr. Lewis to call it Hemingway's. And he thought for a minute, and he, and he just he didn't he didn't exactly understand where I'm coming from. And of so, and then he said, "Is there something to do with me?" I said, "Yes, there is." I said, "You want a memory of me uh, when I will not be around, so we will have a visual, a memory that stays." I, I told him that I think his memory will stay in any case even if I will not call the restaurant Hemingway's. But I must say that I'm happy that I did. Uh, we have visuals in the Hemingway's of memories that we have with Mr. Lewis, and we have next to it also the picture of Hemingway, the man. Uh, I like that name. Yes. I, think, I think, and I think we managed to also create it as a brand by now uh, in the TRNC. Yes, and uh, people can visit here uh, can uh, I think uh, can eat something, can drink something, and you have got a a la carte restaurant. Yes. Uh, I think I think first of all it, it's very important to mention two two things that are in, like typical or uh, crucial for the success of, of of Carpus Gate Marina, and it's combined. At the end of the day, we are part of the community. We are part of the community first of all because of the employees that we have. 95% of our employees are local people mm -hmm. from the TRNC, and we even focus on Carpaz specifically. So we are part of the community from that side, and we are part of the community because this place is open to the public. We have a promenade, we have a, what we call a waterfront, and that waterfront, this waterfront is open to the public to enjoy whether they sit in the restaurant or whether they don't. They don't. I can tell you that we are a very attractive place for wedding pictures. And we are very proud of it, because if people choose at the most important day of their life to come and have a, 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 their video shot or the pictures here in the Carpus Gate Marina, it means we made a difference. Yes. Uh, so the place is open for everyone, 
And yes, uh, our Hemingway's is a la carte restaurant, and we also have jazz music, here, jazz events here, or music events. Mm -hmm. We have a very nice piano, and sometimes the clients who are professional or amateur pianists just sit down and, and give a little uh, recital. Uh, also in our beach club, we have an a la carte uh, restaurant, uh, beach, more of a beach bar, but still serves everything to the beach, to the pool, or at the table. We just added a very nice oven that allows us to even improve our pizza and lachmajun and pide. Uh, and that, that's also a very nice uh, hangout for the public, I think. Um, I, I, I tend to believe that we are already, you know, part of the Karpas shores. You know, we are, it's, not, it's no longer a new place that just emerged there. Today we are part of what it is and in a way maybe even defining it a bit as a more recreational, luxurious, uh, but, but boutique uh, area. <laughs>